All right, today on the table I have the Smith & Wesson 686 and the Taurus Model 66. Both these firearms have a six inch barrel and they are both chambered in 357. The Smith & Wesson is slightly heavier. Uh, the Taurus does have an extra round. This is seven, this is six. The overall look of the firearm, I do like the Smith & Wesson better. And plus, this is like, this is a non-glare -glare stainless, so you couldn't polish this. This you could polish, and that's what I like doing with my stainless. So I just like that better. Uh, both have adjustable back sights. So your sights right there. I almost kind of like the Smith & Wesson sights better. Uh, Taurus uses a transfer bar system. The Smith & Wesson uses the firing pin style. Uh, the grip feel, I do like the Smith & Wesson better. It just kind of fits my hand a little bit better. Uh, the Taurus has also got this right here, the molding mark. It's kind of uncomfortable. The Smith & Wesson is slightly taller. And it is slightly longer. Trigger brake. Taurus brake's pretty clean. Smith & Wesson somehow actually brakes cleaner than the Taurus, and the Taurus does brake pretty clean. A double action trigger brake. I'd say they're pretty well equal. Uh, you will see a price difference on these two firearms. This one, the Smith & Wesson, being $185, $184 more. Overall though, I do like both these firearms. Myself, just because of the fact that you can polish this, I would actually go with the Smith & Wesson. But it doesn't mean the Taurus isn't a viable option. Plus, you also get an extra round and it's slightly lighter. Leave in the comments below which one you would pick and why. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.